Well guys, I was hoping to do this intro while I was still at Drexel, but unfortunately we all had to move out due to coronavirus. Luckily, I was able to finish filming before I had to move out, so let's jump right in and take a look at the Drexel Freshman Residence Halls. I'm Sam Vaughn. I live on floor six, Millennium Hall, with my roommate, Sam. Millennium Hall is probably the smallest dorm out of all the dorms at Drexel. However, it's one of the newer dorms. Storage and desk space, you get one big movable drawer with hangers, two drawers underneath. You have a desk that comes with the room, uh, another separate little drawer for the desk that's movable, and a dresser, a smaller dresser with two drawers that come with the room. So overall, you're getting three drawers of uh, storage. So it's honestly a lot. Bathroom setup. Uh, so you got three individual showers and then three individual toilets and one handicapped toilet that has uh, a toilet and a shower in it and then a communal sink because it's a co-ed floor. So it's like there's a boy's bathroom and a girl's bathroom. It's individual bathrooms and showers for people to use and communal sinks. I'm Greg Strilloff. I'm a first year student at Drexel. I live in Race Hall. I really like Race Hall because it's a sweet style. I have a whole bathroom and an extra shower built in. There's also the little kitchen with a full fridge and everything really works out super well. It's me, my roommate here, um, and then two other guys next door and it's just a really good dynamic of having everything in one place. Since we have the, the full suite and like the bathroom and the extra space, the actual bedrooms themselves are significantly smaller. Like the room between the beds are quite small compared to some of the other dorms. But um, I've found it to be all right, it's doable. I can keep some of my jackets outside on a little like unit, whatever it is, um, and some stuff under my bed. Most of my clothes fit in the closet. So maybe it's a little less open space in the actual bedroom than the other units, but I think the open space in the apartment kind of makes up for that. My name is uh, Jack Hunterzak and I live in Towers Hall. Towers is probably the biggest dorm size for any room. There's a lot of space. It's one of the older dorms, but it's pretty nice because there's like a balcony too. Storage is pretty good. We get one big closet with four drawers. And then the desk space isn't bad either. One long drawer, like normal desk, and three side drawers, which can hold all your books and other things too. Like a big plus on Towers is that it's an individual AC unit, so you can set your own heat, set your own AC. It's not like mandated by the building. In Towers Hall, the floors are separated male and female, so then that means you are gonna have communal bathrooms. Pickles. I live in Myers. Uh, what I like about Myers is since it's this older building, the room's a little bit bigger and you can customize the room. Like I know some people that have their beds turned different ways and stuff, but we like it this way. One half and one half and uh, it's, it's nice. I like having the bay window and your own AC. You can control the temperature. Storage, you got a ton of under, under bed storage where I use everything and then you got a whole closet and two drawers for all your clothes. Bathroom, it's communal bathrooms. They're not the cleanest, but they do. Hi, I'm Sam Wozniak. I live in Van Ar. I really like living in Van Ar. It's a sweet style, so as you can see, Everything here, there's a lot of space. 
I have my own room, yet I also have a living room and a bathroom and my own kitchen. It's really nice to have those extra amenities to a college dorm. So then our setup a little weird. Our kitchen is by the front door and our fridge is in the living room, which makes things a little awkward. You have to walk from uh, living room to kitchen if you want to make something. My bedroom's uh, a little smaller than some of the other dorms, but I think uh, it's compensated for by the living room and the bathroom situation here. The bathroom is set up. There's it's a double door, so you open the first door, and then there's two sinks, a mirror, and some space underneath for like storage. And you open a second door, and you have a toilet and a shower. I'm Thomas Cavalcante, and I live in North Hall. I'm in a six-person dorm. We have a kitchen and the stove is out in the hallway and the laundry is uh, down the hall and we have two toilets and two showers. There's a lot of space in the rooms between the beds so you know you have a lot of walking area. We have a wardrobe and um, a desk. My favorite part about you know the North Hall suites are um, the living room. The living room is pretty open and it leaves space to put a lot of your own furniture or whatever you need to in there and it's you know a good space to work in or hang out with friends and your roommates and it's a very welcoming space and um, we took advantage of that. Well, that was a real turn of events here, so I guess I'll be making videos while I'm home for now, and hopefully we can all get back on campus next year. Anyways, guys, I hope these dorm tours were helpful for you, and if you have any questions about any of the dorms, leave me a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and hit subscribe if you liked the video.